Hello, hello, Michelle here, and I just placed my very first Vitacox order. Ooh, I have two giant boxes here packed with vegan goodies. So I figured I would do a little haul for you guys to show you what I got. Uh, Vitacox is an awesome site that I just discovered where you can easily search vegan and find tons of pretty natural, healthy, or progressive companies and ingredient and uh, products on their site, and then just get them shipped to your door. Shipping's free for purchases over $49, and a lot of the products on their site are actually discounted up to 50% off of retail value. So it's a great way to find some good deals on natural products, and I'm excited to see what's in these boxes. I can't remember everything I ordered. I ordered a lot of stuff, so uh, let's unpack them together. All right, I haven't even opened these yet. So ooh, let's dig in. This is the box number one. This is the heavier box. I think it's like a lot of the, I don't know, we'll see what's in it. Okay. It's so fun getting mail, not having to go to the grocery store and like lug all of these big heavy bags back, but just get these boxes just arriving on my doorstep. So, so fun and awesome. All right, here's a little sheet of what I got. Oh, it's packed super nicely. I'll share this to you. Ooh. Awesome. Okay. Ooh, already I'm intrigued by the first thing I got and forgot that I got it. So this is a deliciously gluten-free turkey style gravy mix, but it is 100% vegan because this is a vegan product right on it. Come on. Turkey style. So this is something I had never seen before. Saw it on Vitacost and was like, I might as well give it a try. All right, where am I gonna put these things? Okay, oh my gosh, there's a lot in here, you guys. <laughs> Hunker down, draw a bath, chill out, and just play this video in the background. Um, okay, I got this onion and chive dip mix. Yum. These uh, are really easy. I think you just mix them, yeah, you just mix it with sour cream and chill for 30 minutes, and you can easily find now vegan sour cream from companies like Tofuti. Uh, I think there's another company that makes vegan sour cream as well. You could also make your own. There's recipes online, but uh, it's just like a great party dip dish, and this is a really natural packet, like a more natural version than you would find in like Safeway. All right, what's up next? Ah, oh, McDougal soups. I got a few different McDougal sit soups. This one's the Chinese noodle, and this one is chicken flavor. And McDougal is an all vegan brand and really accessible in a lot of different places. He's a doctor, so you know it's healthy and looking out for your best well being and interest. And let's see, here are the two that I got. Ooh! This one I already know that I love. These are Justin's dark chocolate peanut butter cups. These are vegan. On the package it says, contains trace amounts of milk. This is not true. I've talked to Justin himself. It's just uh, labeled that way for legal reasons, just to cover their butts because it's made in facilities that also uh, use dairy, but there is not actually dairy in the ingredients. So they're completely vegan and delicious, and I just love these. They sell these at Target. They're becoming really accessible. And the chocolate from Justin's is Food Empowerment Project approved, meaning it's slavery free, which is a rampant issue in the chocolate industry. So highly recommend these. All right, let's see. Ooh, so much fun stuff. A few of these. All right, I got a bunch of these Stonewall jerkies. I don't know if you've ever tried these, but my husband, Dan, loves them. And not every flavor is, ve is vegan. I think some of them may have honey or something, but um, these ones are. These are delicious. They are like little round. Here, I'll open it up and try one for you. I'll show them to you. Are these little round jerky things. They're high protein and very addictive. And they say right on them, vegan, animal free, all natural. So if you've never tried these, I highly recommend the brand. Stonewall's jerky. All right, oh, lots of fun stuff in here. We'll do the next type of jerky that I got. <laughs> all right, I got some primal strips, which 
These are probably one of the original vegan jerkies out there. They've been around for a really long time. They are very flavorful. I got the Thai peanut, hickory smoked and hot and spicy. And they're just great snacks to have on the go if you're hiking, if you have a long drive, if you're camping, anything like that. These are a great option to have. And again, they're, you know, high protein, uh, pretty natural ingredients and yum, animal free, cruelty free. What more could you ask for? All right, next up. What do we have in here? Ooh. I'm sure you guys have seen or tried these already. If you haven't, you've got to get your hands on some. If you ate this as a kid and feel like feeling nostalgic, this is my favorite boxed vegan mac and cheese out there. There's a lot of boxed vegan mac and cheese that kind of like exploded over the past few years. Um, some of them are good and some of them are really, really awful. This one gets my full approval. I really, really enjoy it. And I actually make it, um, I don't add butter. It's, it calls for adding milk and butter. I just add like a, the tiniest bit of like unsweetened almond milk and it's really delicious. I love these. All right. Ooh, lots of soapy products in here. What all? Ooh. Okay, I got a tea. Nothing too special vegan about this. Obviously most tea is vegan, but this is a chai rooibos and it's caffeine free. I don't do well with caffeine. I'm pretty high energy anyway, so I'm always looking for a really good decaf tea and this one will be really yummy on its own or with some almond milk poured in, uh, maybe some agave, yum, yum, yum. All right. Okay, here's another boxed vegan mac and cheese. I've tried this before. Uh, they were sampling it at Expo West when I went one year and I was like, whoa, I've never seen this brand before. I remember it being like, eh, not incredible, but I got it because I wanted to make it and try it again and just like see what I think. But uh, yeah, and I was excited to see kind of a more unique brand on the Vitacost site. It's always fun. All right, Taste of Asia. Yeah, so this is a microwavable noodle bowl. I really, really like these when I used to, well, I don't know, when I'm busy working at home and just don't have time to cook anything, it's really nice to have these in the cabinet. Uh, that's the biggest trick when you're first transitioning to veganism is to make sure you always have easy to prepare foods just like on hand for when cravings hit. And I've never tried this exact one before, but looks good, I'll report back. <laughs> Ooh, all right, two vegan milks. Actually, I think these are kind of interesting. So let me reuse that back. Okay, oh yeah, so this one I found the hazelnut chocolate. I'm really interested to try this one. It's by the brand Pacific. And I don't know, I feel like it's gonna be like liquid Nutella, hopefully. That's my hope, I'll report back. And oh yeah, and this one is a ramen broth. It's organic, certified organic, non-GMO. A lot of stuff on Vitacost is organic, non-GMO, just very more conscious brands. I'm a ramen addict, so just to have ramen broth on hand is great. Speaking of ramen addictions, this is my favorite brand of more natural ramen. There are a few top ramen flavors that are actually vegan. I can't remember, there's two that I know of, but, um, you know, they have MSG, they're not healthy for you. These are much more natural. You can, I usually get them at Whole Foods, but you can get them online at a lot of different grocery stores now. I think they're around 99 cents. So you can't beat the price. Um, and the flavor packets are really yummy. Sometimes I'll add a little bit of sesame oil with it. Sesame oil just like picks up every noodle bowl to another level, it's so good. No way. So here is a pretzel crunch bar. If you miss chocolate bars, after transitioning to vegan, this one, I mean, as you can tell by the, by the name, it's got no way, it's made without milk. And I've never tried this one before, but I imagine it will be delicious. It's got a long list of ingredients, so it may not be, you know, the most helpful, but what do you expect when you're eating a chocolate bar, right? All right, man, I got a lot of things. All right, this is one of my favorite soaps to leave in the bathroom for Dan because it smells so good. They're definitely more like musky scents, but it's just amazing. And Urban Cowboy is a completely cruelty-free vegan brand, so I love them. They also make a deodorant that's great. And yeah, I got three of these stocking up. I think they might also sell this 
on Amazon as well. What all did I get? There's so much stuff. All right. I love this eco-friendly packaging that they use. Super awesome. We'll save this for when I send out packages. Okay. This is Amy's soup. It's their no chicken noodle soup. You can find this at a lot of different grocery stores and clearly at Vitacost. And I think they're around two or three dollars. And it's just a great thing, especially as we head into fall and winter to have these on hand when you just feel like having something really cozy or you're feeling a little under the weather. It really brings back that nostalgic chicken noodle feel without having to prep anything in the kitchen. Soup, soup, soup. I was clearly craving soup when I placed this order. I got some vegetable bouillon with herbs. Uh, it's really easy to find vegetarian bouillon, but a lot of people don't realize that you can find bouillon vegan. Um, Rapunzel's a great brand. They usually have it like with salt, without salt, whatever, at widely available at grocery stores. And you just, these are little, if you're not familiar, square cubes that you drop into hot water and it transforms it into really delicious soup. So if you've never had bouillon cubes before, these things are like a lifesaver. Okay, some cleaning products in here. Oh, okay, we'll go with the nooch. You guys know and love nooch by now, right? Vegan fairy dust. This is nutritional yeast from Bragg's. Uh, it comes in these handy little shaker bottles. I use this uh, on pasta. I'll put nutritional yeast, salt, and garlic olive oil, and that kind of replicates a cheesy flavor. Nutritional yeast is very cheesy tasting, and despite the like pretty unpleasant name, <laughs> it's really, really good. And it's used in a lot of vegan cheese sauces, so if you're making like a cashew cream or a mac and cheese, the ingredients will, or the list of ingredients will probably call for nutritional yeast. You can also find this stuff in a lot of bulk sections at grocery stores, natural food stores. Okay, my favorite cleaning product and soap product brand is Myers. This is Myers. Um, this is their honeysuckle scent. I actually haven't smelled this one before. Ooh, a nice, like soft, sweet smell. That's delicious. I'm very excited about this. And this is just their dish soap. Got two of them stocking up again. I feel like I'm always running out of dish soap. And what else did I get? Ah, yes. All right, I got some liquid hand soap. This is in lemongrass and clary sage, paraben free. It smells really good. Cruelty free and vegan, says it right on the label. Oh, that one smells delicious. Um, yeah, I just ran out of hand soap in the bathroom, so that's where that will go. And then I got one more as well. This is the brand Everyone um, in their lavender coconut. And let me just get this little whiff. Yep, smells very natural, like lavender and coconut. That's probably made with essential oils. And yep, essential oils, very clean ingredients. My husband uses the Everyone shampoo, uh, just a great accessible brand and it's also pretty affordable. So I love that as well. All right, that's it for the first box. You guys, I might put this video in two parts and maybe we'll end it here and then watch part two to see the second box of goodies that I will be opening. But I think it's a lot of the lighter items like chips and stuff. All right, so Vitacost. I give it an A plus so far. I'm so excited. I mean, what I love is that it's got a lot of staples that I already shop for and love, but at discounted prices. And then it also has new items that I've never heard of before or tried before that I'm just like having so much fun unboxing. And when I ordered this, I was expecting it to come like a week later. It came in like two days or one day or two days. I was just like, why is this here already? That's so fast. How did that even happen? I don't even understand like modern technology and modern online shopping just blows my mind. But it also makes being vegan so much easier and more fun. So if you guys want to check out Vitacost, you can uh, find a link over to the website down below. They have a lot of great deals and sales beyond just like their regular discounted prices. So um, yeah, I'll see, I'll email them and see if I can hook you guys up with a coupon code or something like that. Uh, so look down in the description below for that. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to hear from you. I know there's a lot more companies similar to Vitacost that are popping up with amazing natural uh, product options and free shipping options and stuff like that that just make 
living more healthfully and sustainably and naturally in, in a cruelty-free way easier. So if you guys know of any that you've loved or if you've had experience with Vitacost, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks as always for tuning in and watching. Don't forget to click subscribe so you can stay tuned to my future videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you love vegan food. Let me know if you like seeing hauls or if this isn't your thing. I love reading all of your comments and hearing what you, what you guys want to see and what you don't want to see because I make these videos for you and I really appreciate every single one of you. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye. Mwah.